Good morning, YouTube. We're Van Trekking Lifestyle, and in today's video, we're going to head over to Dupuy Land Management and spend some time out there boondocking. Come along with us. Ready to go somewhere else? Our short ride to our next camping location took us beside of the beautiful Lake Okeechobee. There were only a few places that we could even see the water though, so we found a place to turn off and rode up to the top of the dam to get a better look. Wow, I finally get to see. And what a look it was. Known as the Inland Sea, this is one huge lake. And I figured we had four wheel drive and we could make it down to the very edge. It was a little bumpy and a little scary for Lynn, but we made it and we were glad we had it. Thinks we got four wheel drive. That's a little. Uh, we made it down here. I don't know if we'll make it back up, but we made it down. Here. Lake Okeechobee. <laughs> While Maggie was glad to get out of the van and stretch her legs, we just stood in awe of this natural beauty. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice? I knew we would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind. Ooh, on this road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time. Somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am Gotta stay here for some time And with that, Lake Okeechobee was in our rearview mirror, and we found ourselves riding through the beautiful countryside of inland Florida, heading to our next destination, anxious to get there. Slight right onto Florida 710 East. And although we had watched a few videos about what to expect at Dupuy Land Management, we weren't really sure what to expect when we got there. So Lynn got out and opened up the gate like a good cowboy, and we entered and tried to find the perfect campsite for six nights of boondocking out in the wild. We learned that Dupuy has two distinct areas to camp in, one if you bring horses and one if you just bring a dog. So we headed over to the non-equestrian side to find a perfect spot. One that might be in the shade some, and one that might allow us to get a little sun so that the solar could recharge the batteries during the day. Normally we'll boondock for a couple of days, and then we'll go check into a state park or somewhere that has hookup, and kind of dump and get fresh water and have electricity. 
Those who follow us know that this was our intention, but later this trip became the tour of seeing Florida through the eyes of the Florida State Parks. For a couple of days, so we'll see how this goes. Not having anything for a couple of days. More like six days. Six days. Actually, right. more like eight days. No, six days. Six days? Six days. Maggie's lying inside saying somebody turn on a fan or the air conditioning. So as usual, we set up camp and then set out to explore. How has your first day of boondocking at Dupuy gone? Good, good. Not a lot of difference from camping anywhere else. I don't think so either. Do you? Yeah, so far, I haven't really cooked or anything like that, or washed dishes, or. But so far, it's been great. We're off on a hike. Able to uh, get some exercise in. The van is back over there across that little pond. You can see all the dispersed campsites all around us. town to Dupuy land management. So if you're looking for groceries or something to eat, uh, this is going to be the place to get it. An IGA, Family Dollar, McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's, man, if you like McDonald's, that'd be a good place to go. Dollar Gentral. Water at Dollar Gentral. We're about out of fresh water, so that's our reason for coming to Indian Town. Today. Not fresh water in the tank, but fresh water to make coffee out of and drink. So this is Indian Town. I thought. It so you see what's important to us? We're trying to find laundry, uh, laundry mat that we can uh, do do our laundry. We're trying to wait for a day that it doesn't. Looks so beautiful outside and it might rain, but fortunately for the weather, <laughs> we're not able to do that. We, we've had wonderful weather. So we drove by the laundry mat. This is one of the great things about this van compared to our other RV. We can do a U turn. This is an easy U-turn here. This is like... Oh, you have a little pull-off here. And we'll pull off. All I've got to do is just whip around. There you go. Do that in a 35-foot RV. I don't think you could. Pretty cool, huh? So what Lynn's doing right now reminds me of something that we always go by, and that is a gut feel. This looks like it could be... Uh, not so nice area to be in. You never really can tell until you scope something out. But if we pull up someplace and we're planning on doing something and we get a bad vibe about being there, that we don't feel safe or we don't think it's a good idea, then we, uh, we start the engine back up, turn the turn signal on and go somewhere else. We'll see what the verdict is. That's okay. You feel safe sitting here long enough to wash clothes? I wouldn't want to do it by myself. Well, it's kind of hard for you to do it by yourself if we're both going. <laughs> Where am I going to be if I'm not in the van with you? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, with you, I'd be okay. Okay. It's okay. It's two dollars. Well, I'd like to whoop any of these people if they tried to take my underwear away from me or something. I don't think anybody will take the underwear away. I think they'd have 
have any sense. And this is our campsite for the remainder of our time at Dupuy. We're set up underneath a bunch of pine trees in the shade, but the van still has full sun to the roof, which means we're getting, we've got as much as 9.6 amps coming in at any given time, which is really good for us. And we're sitting here and later today, we'll show you the sunset that happens here. It's spectacular. fun ever doing laundry but at least when you come to a place like this you can just get it all done at one time fold it all up carry it back out to your house on wheels and keep going to me this is the way to go it beats making four or five trips to a uh, little laundry cleaner at a campground but I don't know, I'm not the one doing most of the work so uh, is this better uh, yeah, you don't look real happy about this <laughs> <laughs> well, it hasn't been a fun day, but it's been a good day. We ran errands, we got groceries, and we did two weeks worth of laundry. I think it cost $20 to do two weeks worth of laundry there at that laundromat, but we got it all done. Now we're heading back over to our campsite, and we're like 53 minutes away from there with traffic. Dark. Yeah, and the ironic thing is, day after tomorrow we have to drive right back over here to go to Jonathan Dixon State Park uh, for fun. So we'll have five or six days there at Jonathan Dickinson State Park, which is right on the coast, and we're really looking forward to that. And I just did something I haven't done in a while, stopped to get gas in the van, and the little sign said $2.19 per gallon. But when I put my card in and tried to get it, that was only if you bought a car wash or if you paid with cash. I've seen five cents more to pay for with a credit card, but 26 cents more to pay with a credit card, uh, no thank you. We, uh, I got $10 worth of gas. I can remember my daughter, whenever I told her I was sorry that gas was going up so much, telling me that gas hadn't gone up, it was still $10. I'm still like her now, I guess. We're going to drive home. Actually, we already are home, but we're going to drive to, <laughs> we're going to drive to where we're going to park it tonight, which then becomes our yard. It's been a it's been a day. <laughs> I don't know what kind of day. Rainy and hot. And we're both tired and we're just going home. So as Lynn is opening up the gate to let us in here at Dupuy, uh, or Dupois, I'm not sure how you say that. I'm reminded of one of the old cowboy movies that three cowboys come up to a gate and the old guy sitting there at the gate says, son, how do you know which one of those is the real cowboy? The guy says, I don't know, I guess the one driving. He said, no. He said, what about the guy in the passenger seat, I guess? No. He said, the, the real cowboy is the one in the middle. <laughs> he don't have to drive the truck. And he don't have to get out and open the gate. In our situation, Maggie, she's the, cowboy. She's the real cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
not all the vans are as new as ours. Not all the people that do it are as new at doing it as us. Some people have been doing this for many, many years. The guys are in the truck campers there. We actually saw them at Highlands Hammock. They all travel around all winter together in this little caravan going from place to place to place. And every night they pop out a big 10 foot screen and watch a movie together. Pretty cool way to see the world as far as I'm concerned. When it's 88 degrees in the shade, you try to get somewhere that the wind is blowing and that you're in the shade and comfortable. Maggie has it figured out. She finds the coolest place to lay and she just hunkers down. The dog days of summer in February 2019. That's what you do on a day like today. You sit in the shade and you rest. You probably heard like us that when one door closes, another one opens. The door was opening on us to head over to the coast, but we enjoyed our time at Dupuy Land Management. So we'll leave you with some footage of how this place looks from a bird's eye. But if you don't mind, if you haven't already done so, click on the like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you like to keep up with what we're doing in the future. Leave us a comment and let us know about the things you love and the things you might want us to change. And above all, keep your eyes out for us because we'll be out there and we hope that we get to camp beside of you one day soon. Until then, happy trails. So we're leaving Dupuy Land Management today and heading over to Jonathan Dickinson State Park. As you can see, we've had very few rainy days, but on the day that we need to pack up and leave, it is raining.